Hopefully yeah. it's not too late. I honestly, I don't know if I'll, like, I, I, hopefully I'll find somebody. Drake is once again dropping hints that he wants to date Kim Kardashian, but is he really interested or just trying to provoke Kanye? Drake recently released a new track referencing Kim and Kanye's divorce, and while some fans are already predicting Drake and Kim will be the new power couple, others are saying Drake is just trolling Kanye. So is he really trying to make a move on Kim, and will Kim move on with Drake considering it will help her already falling fame? Now for those of you who don't know, rumors about Drake and Kim hooking up have been swirling around for years, and at one point Kanye even had to step in and check Drake for fuel in these rumors. Back in 2018, reports popped up online that Kim either cheated on Kanye with Drake or hooked up with him shortly before she started dating Kanye. Nick Cannon even said in an interview that Kim hooking up with Drake ain't that far off of a concept. Nick, who also, by the way, had a brief fling with Kim back in the day, explained that there's something really personal Drake holds over the Kardashian family, and Kanye is probably afraid of the public finding out. What did you think of Kanye ending uh, the Drake and pushing feud with that tweet. That shit was whack. I was so into... I think Drake smashed Kim K. No cap. Come on, man. Like, let, let's stay you know on topic. Yeah, 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 yeah. That ain't that far off of a concept. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, I mean, he's not I'm saying the, the, the obvious shit. This is as a fan, just stepping back. There's something... Talk, my nigga. Something real personal Drake holds over that whole family it, it, that he's like, y'all don't want me to let this out. Exactly. And I always think about it. Who does Kanye West care about in a world beside himself. I was okay. thinking the same okay. shit. Okay. My mind, <laughs> my assumptions based There's on the record. There's something over there. Yeah. <laughs> but wait. There were even rumors back then that Kanye got Pusha T to squash his beef with Drake because he worried Drake would drop a diss track about Pusha and spill the beans on his alleged hookup with Kim. Now to give you a little bit of context, Drake and Pusha T's beef escalated after Drake mentioned Pusha T's fiance Virginia in his song Duppy Freestyle and Pusha retaliated by exposing Drake's secret love child in the story of Added On. And since Pusha used one of Kanye's his beats for the story of Adidon, Drake speculated that Kanye gave Pusha information about his son. Drake told the Rolling Stone in December 2019 that Kanye definitely recruited a guy with a similar dislike for him no matter what he says in interviews. There's something there that bothers him deeply and I can't fix it for him, Drake said. It's just what it is. Things have changed. It's not just some kid that's a fan anymore. Now we have personal situations and a lot of his issues with me, I can't fix them for him. However, Kanye was very defensive about this situation and Jay Prince later claimed that Kanye called Called him to see how they can quickly put an end to Drake and Pusha's beat. This was something Kanye didn't want, Prince said. He let me know I'm a family man. I don't want this. Kanye also tried to squash the beef on Twitter, writing, I've never been about beef. I'm about love. Lines were crossed and it's not good for anyone. So this is dead now. A lot of the people thought that Kanye was protesting a little too much about someone else's beef and rumors started circulating that Kanye was worried that Drake would reveal his alleged affair with Kim. And Drake being Drake, it seemed that he was actually enjoying the drama. In fact, he went ahead and dropped the track In My Feelings and used Kim's nickname, Kiki. This triggered Kanye to the point that he went on IG Live blasting both Nick Cannon and Drake for spreading rumors about Kim. First of all, I want to address Nick Cannon. Like, I understand that uh, you used to date my wife, but you know, you get in an interview, don't mention my wife. If someone brings my wife up, you say, hey, I respect that man. I'm not speaking on that. Don't be making no suggestions like nobody my wife. The fact that it's people making rumors or thinking that you fuck my wife and you're not saying nothing and you carrying it like that, that don't sit well with my spirit. You know, if I had a girlfriend from Chicago, her name was Renita, and then you was married to Rihanna, I wouldn't make no song called Riri. So when you're like, oh, I don't know where it come from, you too smart for that, bro. You know where that come from. Don't make no record with nothing that could be confused. And while Drake and Kanye reconciled after Kim filed for divorce from Kanye, it looks like Drake was just pretending to be on good terms with Kanye. Back in November 2021, Jay Prince convinced Kanye to make a peace offering to Drake, and Kanye and Drake ended up playing a live show together in support of Larry Hoover. Drake even got emotional while watching Kanye perform the song Runaway and begging Kim to run back to him. However, fast forward just a year later, and Drake was once again throwing shots at Kanye completely unprovoked. In November 2022, Drake and 21 Savage dropped their collab for their album, Her Loss, and fans were convinced Drake was dissing Kanye on the track Circo Loco. Circo Loco features the lyrics, linking with the ops, I did that shit for Jay Prince. I did that for the mob ties. I've never been one to apologize. Me, I'd rather hit him up one more time. Basically, it sounded like Drake was confessing he only agreed to perform with Kanye at the Larry Hoover benefit to please Jay Prince, and he actually never meant to make amends with Kanye. Also, on Circo Loco, Drake referenced Tupac's diss track directed at Biggie Smalls hit him 
him up, which was another potential clue that he was secretly dissing Kanye. Now, as for Kanye, he was over the beef at this point, and after fans started bombarding him with comments saying that he needs to retaliate, Kanye fired back saying, enough already. I done gave this man his flowers multiple times. Let's really see who the ops are in this music game. Imagine all the rappers on the same side and everyone cleaning up each other's contracts. It's kingdom time. Love, Dre. But Drake just couldn't stop being messy, and after Kim and Kanye's divorce was finalized, one insider claimed that Drake had his sights set on dating Kim. The source told Heat Magazine, Drake could never understand what Kim saw in Kanye. He was saying for years how he wasn't the right guy for Kim, and it would all end in tears. The insider also claimed that Drake was surprised it took Kim so long to realize Kanye wasn't good for her, and he allegedly started messaging her the moment it became clear the divorce was inevitable. He's ready to see her whenever she says the words, basically, and he's confident that it will happen fairly soon, the source added. Well, it looks like it might just be happening sooner than we think because Drake is once again dropping hints that he wants Kim to give him a chance. On March 31st, Drake premiered a new track called Rescue Me on XM Radio, and the track features a sample of Kim talking to her mom, Kris Jenner, about divorcing Kanye. I didn't come this far just to come this far and not be happy. Okay. Remember that. You didn't come this far just to come this far. Right. Right. The world's greatest yeah. sound. The sample was taken from the 2021 Keeping Up With The Kardashians finale when Kim opened up to her mom about the moment she realized her marriage was over. After turning 40 this year, I realized like, no, I don't want a husband that lives in a completely different state. Yeah. To me, I thought, oh my God, that's when we're getting along the best but then that is sad to me. Kim claimed that turning 40 made her realize small things in life are the most important. And she said that after everything she's achieved in life, she needs to figure out how to be happy. And this is the part that Drake used in his new song. I didn't come this far just to come this far and not be happy. Now, as you can imagine, fans are now trying to figure out what all of this means. Is Drake trying to tell us that he wants to date Kim or is he trolling Kanye and trying to reignite their beat? Well, it looks like the majority of fans think that the second option is the more plausible one because Drake is no stranger to trolling. One fan said, Kanye don't even care about Drake anymore for real. Drake just wants beef again. And another person dragged Drake for thinking he did something and wrote, how you clowning a failed marriage when you had a love child with a porn star and tried to cover it up. Now, as for Kanye, it's unlikely he'll respond to Drake's trolling anytime soon because he's fully moved on from both Kim and his beef with Drake. In fact, one insider close to Kanye recently told Us Weekly that Kanye is unbothered and happier than he's been in a while with his new wife Bianca and their relationship is going steady. She has met his kids and they seem to have a very steady relationship, the source shared. Bianca helps to keep Kanye focused and she is his new muse when it comes to design. Fans are now clowning Drake for being corny and they're saying he needs to stop trying to create drama because it's getting pathetic at his big age. Drake is almost 40 being this much of a cornball loser, one fan tweeted. And another person added, Drake is a drama queen when he's pushing 40. But what do you make of all of this? Do you think Drake sampled Kim on his new track because he's trying to make a move on her? Or is he just trolling Kanye? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to click on this next video.